So, Richard, I mean, you're getting, you know, millions and millions of pounds worth of publicity here. We've just aired the ad that was not cleared to air. Many other people have been doing the same. It's a win-win for Iceland. How many of your existing products use palm oil? Well, we, we've taken palm oil out in totality of about 450 lines. How many are left? Um, so, out of our own label products, there won't be any. But then, of course, we do sell branded products. How which... many branded products have palm oil? Uh, I don't know the exact number, but it would it would be you know a couple of hundred. I, I mean, it, right? So, I mean, two hundred products at Iceland today have the very palm oil that you yeah. are exploiting yeah. with this. Not an Iceland ad; it's a Greenpeace ad, right? This is an ad made by Greenpeace. You've taken it. You knew that it wasn't going to get clearance. It's got you acres of publicity anyway. We've just aired the damn thing. Mm. And, you know, well done. But my difficult question for you is, if you really feel that strongly about palm oil, well, why have you still got 200 products at Iceland this morning to have it in there? How many orangutans are you personally killing? <laughs> I'm well, serious. Well, well, firstly, to, to pick up on your comment that we knew it wasn't going to get clearance. I mean, I'm sure we'll, we'll go into this later, mm. but we absolutely played a straight bat and went into this fully hoping that it would get clearance. It's a Greenpeace ad, though. It, it was a Greenpeace had yeah. already mm -hmm. not got it on TV. You knew that, right? Uh, yeah, it was a, an originally a Greenpeace campaign video. So but... why, if Greenpeace didn't get it on telly, did you think you would as a supermarket when you know the rules? Well, we took a lot of advice from our legal department, from the marketeers, and um, we, you know we had a we had a, a conversation with Clearcast for several weeks. So this wasn't a binary yes no decision very quickly. So yeah, it's the exactly the same yeah. as the Greenpeace campaign yeah, video. because it's such a, a bold, emotive, powerful video, and it chimed exactly with the the messages that that we're trying to give. The, the whole point of this video is that palm oil is bad so it's slightly weird isn't it when you say but actually we're going to give you a choice when you come into our supermarkets that you can buy palm oil because either you're against it and everything that it does to the environment mm. or you don't care about it well um i went out to west Kalimantan last year and had a look firsthand for myself because this is a complicated issue and i came back certainly not Anti-palm oil, actually, but definitely anti You have signs, you have signs but in your... deforestation well, You've got signs in your supermarket, so we got one here, right? Oh, yeah. There's a nice orangutan smiley face, right? We don't kill orangutans, say Iceland. Well, you do. You do. You stock 200 products which kill orangutans. I think, look, we, you know, we, we would love to be able to control some of these biggest brands in the world. You do control it. No, some of the biggest brands in <laughs> the world. You control your orders. We, you? We've proven that it is possible to remove palm oil. And when we first started out on this journey two years ago, we were told this isn't even going to be possible. The world's constructed a. Do you know what percentage oil. of the world's total area under agriculture is farmed with oil palms? Not offhand. What would you guess? Go on. You tell me. No, honestly. Well, I have, have a stab. Well, I mean, the thing about palm oil is it's exclusively grown in areas of tropical rain. Right, but I mean, as a stab, given the apparent devastation this is causing, what, yeah. how much do you think? What area? Well, there's a, the, the only area stat that comes to mind is 146 football pitches being chopped down every hour. Right, but I mean, what percentage of the world's total area under agriculture is farm oil? I, I don't know. You tell me. 0.4%. But the problem is... The palm oil tropical... product production accounts for one-tenth of the global deforestation caused by Here's... livestock and beef production. The... Less than half of that yeah. caused by veggie and vegan staple soybeans. So vegans, right, who will all be cooing and crying over these lovely smiley orangutans are actually scoffing soybeans, which is twice as problematic for the devastation of global deforestation than palm oil. Why aren't you campaigning against soybeans? There are many problems in the world, but the urgency of the crisis on palm oil is such that Why we is it want not to as urgent take for immediate action. Which is twice as devastating. Because the rainforests are the crown jewels of our planet. They only account for 2% of the land area, but they account for 50% of all of our plants and animals. Right. And, and animals such as the orangutan... Right, but I just told you that the vegan and veggie dangerous. staple soybeans... Mm causes twice as much damage to the deforestation, the mm. very thing you just talked about, than palm oil. Why are we not going after the vegan staple? Look, the veggie staple, soybeans. We're doing what we can They're twice we as can. damaging. Soybean is undoubtedly a problem, mostly in animal feed, actually. Um, but, you know, th there are many problems, and palm oil is one that we've tackled head-on and we've done something about. And, you know, I'm really proud of the team because mm. what they've delivered was, we were told, impossible. Um, so it's, it's a fantastic result that customers can choose a palm oil-free uh, Christmas at Iceland. Wouldn't it be a more fantastic result if you just banned everything that had palm oil? If you really believe in it that much? If you want to put your names 
to this massive marketing campaign, which actually is a political campaign created by Greenpeace, a political entity, right? Would it not be just the right thing to say no more palm oil at all, period, in my supermarkets? You had the power. Well, we... You are the god of Iceland. We walk the tightrope. Um, and we are in business to make money, to make profit, but that enables us to do things, for example, in our own label products, like taking out palm oil. If I just delisted hundreds of products, that would be commercial suicide. So and profit's I... more important than a No, not at all, not at all. And it is a tightrope we walk. I'll be so, you know, I'll be, I'll be totally honest with you. Mm. And, you know, we want, we're in business to make money, but also, you know, Iceland is a platform of 900 stores, 5 million customers a week to drive issues that personally I care about and I think our customers do as what well. Would you use instead of palm oil? Uh, rapeseed oil, sunflower oil, butter. See, compared to other sources of vegetable oil, such as rapeseed and soybeans, palm oil is the most productive yes. vegetable oil. Right? Yeah. It produces five times the oil per unit of land and needs far less pesticides and fertiliser. So swapping it for something else, along the lines you just suggested, would require humans to use more land, fertiliser and pesticides to meet the world's oil consumption at a time when China and India are uh, increasing their palm demand. Oil is only so actually, grown... by getting rid of palm oil, it seems to me, and moving to rapeseed or soybeans, the problem gets worse, no. not better. No, you're right, it's five times more productive, but don't forget, it's exclusively grown in areas of tropical rainforest. You can't compare the biodiversity value of a field in Lincolnshire, where some of our rapeseed oil comes from, to even one square inch of tropical rainforest, and that's the issue. Would you consider, I mean, in the light of this conversation, would you consider cutting down or eliminating other products with palm oil or is it still more important to make money out of those independent products? I, th I think what, we, what we've done is certainly raised the debate and raised awareness. That's, that's unethical. Well, you made yourselves look good, haven't you? Well, you've got the cuddly orangutans and you've tugged at our heartstrings, right? You've made us all feel guilty about palm oil. What you've also said is that for commercial reasons, you have to keep stocking 200 products out of palm oil. To which my response would be, well, you can't really have both, can you? I mean, you can't tug at the orangutan heartstrings and then deliberately increase the number of orangutans that die with your orders that have because palm Because cust customers now have a choice, and actually we've shown that it is possible to remove palm oil until such time as there is genuinely sustainable palm oil. If so I actually, said you had 20 products that kill human beings, you'd pull them, right? <laughs> we've had w some... Wouldn't you? You would, wouldn't you? Yes. Right. But because it's orangutans, you don't care enough about orangutans? I think we've done more than any other You care more about humans than orangutans? I, we, we've done Do more you? than any other supermarket, you care more course, about humans to drive this issue. I mean, you know... Orangutans we're, are dying because we're, 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 we're raising awareness here, and some of the brands are now calling us. How have you done this? Can we talk? There's been some really unlikely partnerships. Selfridges are now selling our mince pies. I sell right. mince pies in Selfridges because they love... the Yes, soybeans still cause twice as much damage to the very thing you say you're most concerned about, and yet you don't talk about soybeans. Well, why? maybe that'll be the next campaign. Why are they not know? the first campaign if they're twice as damaging? Well, listen, soybeans are an issue in animal feed, uh, not, not so much human consumption. You're worried about, upsetting, blame the vegans. worried about upsetting the vegans? No. Are you? No. <laughs> I mean, sure? the vegan mafia comes hard. Are you worried about them? No, they love our range, actually. Yeah. They've got a great range of vegan you know, food. And the Waitrose food. editor, magazine editor, just got fired for daring yeah. to have a joke at vegans' Indeed. expense. Are you, are you worried about if you go after soybeans? No. But the, the vegans will defect? There is no perfect alternative, I'll be the first to admit, and everything we do as a human race leaves a footprint, but it's about doing what we can where we can and looking at the sustainability uh, variants of, of all these different okay. oils. Good debate. Richard Walker, CEO of Iceland. Thanks very much. Complicated, isn't it? Thank you. It is. Absolutely.